Previously on The Walking Dead. Previously on Lee Everett is still dead, but continues to narrate the opening recap sequence. Why does it say inspect tree when I'm clearly inspecting the moth? It's apparent to me. We have to destroy this moth before it migrates to Raccoon City and gets infected with the T-Virus. You got done over there? Yeah, one second. And then a wild Sarah appears out of nowhere. Discount Planet Express and Pizza Planet logo. Everything come out all right, girls? Creepy. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. So says the psychopath who is taking a group of people back to his camp against their will for whatever maniacal plans he has in store for them. You f***ing asshole. <laughs> no, stop! Child abuse. 40 seconds of awkward silence. Where the hell is this lighting coming from? Is there a hole in this truck that I'm not aware of? You have no idea what you're dealing with. <laughs> you have no idea what you're dealing with, cliche. I'm trying to help! I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin. Ooh! <laughs> Double bird. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. Blissful ignorance. Oh shit. Jackpot. Wow, Kenny. Took you this entire scene and conversation to notice that fissure right behind Clem? Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Whoa, Rebecca, what in the hell are you talking about? You guys have been in this situation already. That's the whole reason why you assholes escaped his camp in the first place, as we later find out. Is the V getting blinded by the D? You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? My point exactly. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? That's ageist. There, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. The it's gonna be okay when it's really not cliche. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Trailer trash logic. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. Asshole Troy notices Kenny without his restraints and doesn't immediately punish him. And all of a sudden, Clem's bruise miraculously heals. I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. As does a huge chunk of gamers playing this. Except the rest of us know why. Because you're a damn sadist and a psychopath. Take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. So, basically slavery. Video game or not, that is a sin. Grow up, Sarah. You're gonna get us in trouble. I don't care. And don't tell me to grow up. You're just a little kid. I'm older than you. And if you are wondering why we don't like Sarah, well, there you go. Useless and careless. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see if you're messing with it. Oh, really? Because later on, when I do mess with the fences, I don't see any security cameras or an interrupt sequence where Carver goes on a diatribe against the group. This asshole is still lecturing? Reggie. Also, I'm sure a lot of you will wonder why we count Reggie as a sin. And it's for this simple reason. Reggie is, as you will later see when you play this episode, the type of person who, for lack of a better phrasing, drinks too much of the Kool-Aid. We have a term for people like that. They're called corroborators. You want to know what happens to corroborators? We f***ing kill them. Buggy, buggy, buggy. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> there it is! The Clementine Death Stare! She knows you're full of shit, Reggie, and so do we. <laughs> Just in case you want to know why we despise Reggie, well, here you go. But it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's and... not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. I see that Troy is a teleporter. He appears here front and center, but in the following sequence, he reappears once again from the back. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Uncertain racism. Wow, Carver, you haven't even changed your jacket and cleaned out your wound? How are you not infected yet? There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. 
The herd's moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. Okay, this is something that we have a major problem with. How do you know that there's a herd coming your way, Carver? Do you have satellites? Do you have ultrasonic bipedal drones patrolling the area? Did you send a group of your guys to scout ahead? Do you have thermal binoculars that reach for dozens of miles? Details, motherfucker! We must know them! I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. Apparently, Carver's never been to boot camp. The first day is usually when people fuck up the most. Hey, look! It's the anti-Clementine. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. Where's the option that says, So, how's that treachery food tasting, body? Is it digesting well in your stomach? Has it given you diarrhea yet? <laughs> because if it hasn't, then it's getting counted as a sin. I never been to prison. Don't tell no one. Trying to keep a tough reputation. You're trying to keep a tough reputation? Fraud! He killed Walter and Alvin. Only to protect his own people. Or Carver could have just minded his own business and left our group alone and nobody would have gotten killed in the first place. But the game demands it because conflict. Alvin killed George when he escaped. Ah, uh, it's so sad that Alvin killed good old George. Wait, who the hell is George? Hey Bonnie, is that girl down there? That girl? You already know Clem's name, dummy. You just said it earlier. Clementine! This jacket. I found it at the lodge y'all were at. How and when did you find the time to bring this terrible jacket with you? You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Bonnie, we literally just established that the jacket is lame. It's kind of ugly. Stay in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Okay, I'm being super nitpicky here, but why did you bring Clem up to the greenhouse and not know what the hell she's going to be doing? That was awkward. I won't do that again. Too late, Reggie! You already doomed yourself to gaming hell by breaking the first Telltale Walking Dead commandment. THOU SHALT NOT DISS OR TEMPLE WITH THY CLEMENTINE'S HAT! THOSE WHO DO SHALL SUFFER A SEVERE CONSEQUENCE, SUCH AS A BRUTAL BEATDOWN OR DEATH. CLEMENTINE, I ASKED YOU TO HELP HER! No, you didn't, you sniveling worm. You never asked for such a favor. Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. No! No! Please! Ah! Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And that's what you get for breaking the first Telltale Walking Dead commandment. Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Really, bitch? What part of Reggie's dead do you not get? Wow, are you f***ing kidding me? Walkers, literally right outside the fence and nobody's doing anything about it. What about all that monitoring the situation nonsense Carver was talking about earlier? The herd's moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. Okay, here's what's infuriating about this sequence. You notice that there's no fence here? Well, once this whole sequence finishes and Clem heads back outside, the fence magically repairs itself and becomes whole again. Furthermore, this whole sequence itself is a sin. It literally only exists because we haven't fought any walkers so far in this episode and we need to create an action scene because... game. Yeah, Kenny, just pick up a hammer and do nothing to kill the walkers that are going to attack you. Clem's reused groaning sounds. <laughs> Troy steals Jolene's crossbow. Hey, Stop! hey, it's me, Luke. Okay, just calm down. Hey, Luke, so glad to see you. Quick question, though. How did you manage to sneak into this stronghold without anyone noticing you? They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. Which makes it all the more confusing how you successfully snuck in here in the first place. Discount Shazam. They, uh... get out where I can see you. Whoa, 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 hold on a moment. How does Troy know that Clem is in the comic shop? 
He never saw her get grabbed by Luke, and when she exits the store, he comes wandering around the corner, as if he's just noticing her now. Well, you can definitely tell Carver's an asshole. He's got a bowl full of apples on his desk. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. Why is he talking to Clem like she doesn't know what's going on? Especially after he said, I knew you were a smart girl. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. What it really is. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. Really? Throwing a guy off the top of a building? That ain't murder? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 you. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on! You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. So was Troy the only guard patrolling the entire stronghold? How did Luke manage to inform you all of his entire plan without being detected? Is he Gray Fox? Try to hurry, alright? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. The frequent chats Luke is able to conduct undetected proves otherwise. Okay, you see these walkers here? They're what, maybe a quarter mile away from the camp, if that? And herds are always moving? They don't get near the camp until the following night, a full 24 hours later. I know walkers move slow, but they don't move that slow. Also, you mean to tell me not one guard was on the lookout, saw this herd heading their way and tell Carver, hey asshole, you know that situation that we were supposedly monitoring? Well, the situation is heading directly towards us. Let's stock up on ammunition and transportation in case things go south. Clem looks down in the storage room, nobody to be found. And all of a sudden, a wild Tavia appears out of nowhere. How the hell does Tavia not see her? Seriously, she's right there in front of you! Another obligatory 400 days character appearance. Strictly to let you know they still exist, but serve no real purpose. I thought about Duck today. Breaking the second Telltale Walking Dead commandment. I just love how Clem closes her eyes like, Kenny, I don't care about your stupid and worthless child. Shut the f Fuck up and let me get my beauty sleep. <laughs> Discount Matt from Two Best Friends Play. I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. Lying in the name of the Holy Ghost is sinful, video game or not. You want to know the most moronic part of this sequence? Troy will spot Clem even if she's hiding behind the shelves. I swear to Christ you're going to regret this. I was... Oh, you smacked Clem? Oh, you definitely gotta die, Troy. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. Very impressive deductive skills, Carver. There's just one problem, though. How did you manage to capture Luke with the radio when Clem never gave Luke the radio? She infiltrated the storage room, took the two radios, backtracked to the group, and went to bed. And that was it. No Luke to give the second radio to. So, how did this predicament come to be? <laughs> Little shit. That's the second time you smacked Clem, Troy. Now I really hope the game lets me kill you. Is he gonna be okay? His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it. Got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. You know, that's real nice of you to help Kenny recover, Carlos. It really is. However, there's something that bothers us. Where did you find the supplies to fix him? You got a utility belt that we're not aware of? I certainly doubt Carver gave you the supplies to fix him. And if you did find the supplies, how come you didn't stitch up Clem's wound? Actually, never mind. She doesn't need it because she's a badass, unlike the rest of you pansies. We should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. Luke, your inconsistency makes us shake our heads in disgust. You'd probably think that we would count this whole sequence as a sin, because there are no guards on patrol and the group is able to carry out their plan with ease. And you know what? You'd be absolutely right. How in the hell does he not spot her? But I will put a bullet in you and that baby before I let you leave again with my child. Because logic. Just shoot him. What? No, I just- Where the hell did you find that gun, Kenny? And why didn't you just use it before? Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we- Ah, oh, 
you, game. Troy smacks Clementine twice and bullies her countless other times, and we don't have the option for her to kill him instead? Hell, that's worthy of 10 cents right there. That's right, people. We have absolutely no sympathy for those who cause harm to Clementine. All of these bullets being shot and Carlos is the only one to get hit? Even for a video game, that's bullshit. Reusing Season 1 sound effects. You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Well, Kenny, looks like you're getting exactly what you deserve for breaking the first Telltale Walking Dead commandment. <laughs> Brutality.